<laughs> All in a day's work. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> no worries. Hello guys, welcome to Howie and Snipper and today's video is the part 2 of TF2 tier list and today's is gonna be Soldier. Uh, I think my my friend old school TF2 will like this video and I think it's gonna disagree with me in some stuff because he really likes Soldier so let's see how it goes. We're gonna start with the rocket launcher, the default one. I'm gonna give it a C, so we're gonna leave it like that. The next one is gonna be uh, the original. I mean, it's just a skin, so I'll give it a S, a S, S. because the gun is just it's just that it's just the gun. <laughs> I don't I, I don't know how to explain to you. It's just the normal rocket launcher, but it's just that it's just a skin. So I think it's. It's the same as the default one, so I'll, I'll give it a C because there's no ups and downs, it's just a skin. Okay, the next one is gonna be uh, the Beggar's Bazooka, and I'm gonna give it a B. I really... I don't know what to feel about this weapon. I think it's good, but it depends, it depends on the situation. But I don't think... It deserves a C or D. I think it's a B. It's like in the middle, because I don't know. It's just on MBM. It it works very good, but in normal matchmaking, I don't really use it. I just use it on MBM. So I don't think. Okay, the next one is the Go Mangler. <laughs> I'll give it an A. I I use it a lot in matchmaking and MBM and stuff. I, I really like it. It's fun to play as actually uh, That's why I'm gonna give it an A. Okay, the next one is the direct hit. I'm gonna give it a B The gun the gun is very good. I just suck at my aim, so <laughs> uh, But no, I do believe this gun is uh, actually very good <clears throat> Because one the name says it direct hit one hit and the guy is dead like, you can one-shot a scout with this thing, and a spy. Okay, the next one is the black box. Uh, this is gonna be a controversial one, but I'm gonna give it an A. <laughs> I, I love the black box. I use it all the time. Because getting health every time you deal damage to someone, I think it's very helpful. And I, I use it a lot. I really use it a lot. Uh, okay, the next one is gonna be the rocket jumper. I'm gonna give it an A. <laughs> yes. Uh... I, this gun doesn't do damage and stuff, but it's a really fun weapon to use. You can just jump and jump and do market garden. Uh, I think it's a very, very good weapon. Even if it doesn't do damage, I think it's very good. Okay, the next one is the Liberty Launcher. I'm gonna give it a C. Uh, I never use it. Never, never use it. I mean, I think it works for the other shotgun this one which is the combo but I don't know I think I'll have better chances of killing the enemy with the normal rocket launchers I don't know I don't really like it okay the next one is the the airstrike I'm gonna give it a B it's very good on MBM it's awesome in MBM but I don't, I don't really use it on I don't really use it on normal matchmaking because I don't know. Uh, it's not that good. I mean, it's good, but like I said, like I'm gonna say any, any, every time. It depends on the situation. So I think it's kind of it's, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. We're gonna go with the shotgun. Uh, I'm gonna give it a an A. Uh, like I said, the default weapons are extremely good. Are awesome. So. I don't really use the shotgun because I use the other stuff, but it is good nonetheless. Okay, the next one is the banner. I'm gonna give it a name. I love this weapon because every time you have the charge and you activate it, you get uh, mini crits for 10 seconds. Are your teammates and your teammates soon? And I think it's very helpful. Uh, I really love it. And yep. Yeah. 
I use it all the time, so it's a very good weapon. The next one is the base jumper. I'm gonna give it a B. Because I don't... If I wanna market card than someone and I suck at it, I'm gonna use the parachute to at least get some help. But other than that, I mean, this combo, the airstrike with the parachute, it will be an, an S, definitely. But I don't really use it that much. Because I'm in the air with the parachute, the enemy is gonna kill me. They are gonna aim at, aim at me. But I don't think it's that bad. But it's not that good. So that's why it's in the middle. Okay, the next one is the Mantriat. I don't know how you say it. I'll give it a B. Like I said, I don't really use it. I don't know. I Not my type of gameplay. Like, I can have more fun with other stuff, but I don't think it's bad. Because sometimes I use it just to test it, and it's actually fun to use. <clears throat> it's just getting lucky. The next one is gonna be uh, the Battalion's Backup. Uh, I'm gonna give it a name. Yeah, I sometimes I use it when the situation is a little bit fucked up. Like there's a sentry, so I'm gonna use this so at least the guy doesn't die in like two seconds. So I think it's very good. Uh, okay, the next one is the Conqueror. I'm gonna give it an A. Like all the these things are very good, are very very good. Basically, the Conqueror uh, gives you health every second. And your movement, you get a boost of speed when you activate the charge. Uh, this, this with the black box, basically you're like a medic. You're getting health and health and health over time. So I think it's good. I don't really use it that much because I like the buff banner more because of the mini crits. But, but sometimes uh, I think I use it and I really like it. Okay. The next one is the reserve shooter. Uh, I'm gonna give it a C. Uh, this is the combo, basically. This is the combo. I don't really like it. Uh, I think the normal shotgun is better than this. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. But it's my opinion, so you can leave yours in the comments. I don't really like it. Okay, the next one is the panic attack. Panic attack. I'm gonna give it a D. Uh, this gun, before the jungle inferno update, I, I will I will have give it gave it a S or a Nay, but Bulb ruined the the weapon, like dramatically. So I don't think it's uh, very good anymore. Okay, the next one is the uh, how's the name? Uh, the right the right the the right righteous bison. That. Uh, this gun, I'll give it a name. I think it's uh, very, very good. Like, the gun is very good. Very good, very good. Uh, basically, you can hit uh, more than one target with this gun, this pistol. And the next one is the gun boats. I'll give it an S. This gun, well, gun, shoes. Basically, you get. Uh, less damage from rocket jumping so basically the combo will be uh, rocket launcher gunboats and market garden or direct hit gunboats and market garden so basically this and this and any rocket launcher are perfect except for the beggar's bazooka <laughs> I don't know uh, so yeah I'll give it an S I actually use it a lot my other loadout is this this and this so I really like it I really like it okay we're gonna go to the melee weapons and we're gonna go to, with the shovel and I'm gonna give it a C uh, I don't know I don't I never never use it never okay the next one is gonna be the half satuichi I'll give it a B I really like it this is actually my medieval loadout but uh, that's it I use it for medieval mode that's it. I actually never use it that much. I don't really use it that much. So I use it a lot. It's the it's the only gun I use in a uh, medieval mode. But that's it. Not that that much. Okay, 
The next one is the disciplinary action. I'm gonna give it a A. I use the I use it all the time. All the time. Because I like giving my friends a speed boost so we can get to the point faster. I actually love that uh, mechanic gameplay of this gun. All the time I use it. I want I always want to get my friends some speed boost. And it's actually very good. So I'll give it a name. The next one is the equalizer. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a D. I want to give it a D, but I feel it's I feel like it's unfair to the gun. Best, but so that way I'm gonna give it a C. I never use it. Never never use it. So basically when your health is uh, very down, low your damage increases with this gun. Uh, I don't know, I think I have better chances of killing a scout in the air with a deer hit than killing a guy with this. So I don't think it's uh, it's very good. So here comes the other thing, the escape plan. I'm gonna give it an A. The name says it itself. Uh, when your health is low, you get speed. And a speed boost. Uh, that way you can escape the escape plan I really like it because I have low health and I have to kill an enemy with this I can just escape and keep my health back you get marked for dead which is a shit thing but it is what it is the market garden an S this gun is so fun to play it's actually very satisfying actually because every time you if, if you hit someone when you're in the middle of the air Crit. A critical damage and it's actually very fun to play. I actually love it. I actually love this weapon. Okay, the next one is the pain train. I'm gonna give it a D. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's so shit. Literally the stats are increases users capture rate by one point. But Racist bullet vulnerability by 10%. I mean, what's the point then? I can just change to scout and I can do the time the job better. I I, I, I understand that you can cap cap a, a point, capture a point with like a scout, but why? The bullet vulnerability. Oh my god. So yeah guys, this is uh, my my soldiers uh, tier list, as you can see, uh, very, uh, mm, I don't know how to say it, so old school TF2, if you're, if you're watching this video, please let me know what you think, and I would really like to see yours, your tier, your tier list as well, so since you play soldier all the time. So yeah guys, uh, this is the tier list, uh, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next part which is gonna be Pyro. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye bye. I could do this all day. It is good day. <laughs> Cheers mate. Good times. Da, this will work. Yeah. Bravo, <laughs>